married again. <laughs> and I just want a million dollars. Kissing is as important as any part of it. Yeah, right. <laughs> serious? Oh, yeah. Everything you need to know is in that first kiss. Absolutely. Yeah, I think for us, kissing is pretty much like an opening act, you know? I mean, it's like the stand-up comedian you have to sit through before Pink Floyd comes out. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's not that we don't like the comedian. It's just that that's, that's not why we bought the ticket. <laughs> You see, the problem is, though, after the concert's over, no matter how great the show was, you girls are always looking for the comedian again. You know, I mean, we're in the car, we're fighting traffic, basically just trying to stay awake. Yeah, well, word of advice. Bring back the comedian. Otherwise, next time you're going to find yourself sitting at home listening to that album alone. <laughs> Folks are really that bad, huh? Well, you know, these people are pros. <laughs> they know what they're doing. They take their time. They get the job done. What are we supposed to be seeing here? <laughs> I don't know, but I think it's about to attack the Enterprise. <laughs> Come on, Ross, you, me, Joey, Ice Guys Night Out. Come on, what do you say, big guy? Huh? 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 What are you doing? I have no idea. <laughs> So, Saturday night, the big night, date night, Saturday night, Saturday night. <laughs> no plans, huh? Not a one. Hey! hey. I didn't know you could you dance. You were in a human. What'd you think? I didn't know you, you could dance. You were in a I play Al Pacino's butt. <laughs> All right? He goes into the shower, and then I'm his butt. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, you guys. This is a real movie, and Al Pacino's in it, and that's big. Oh, no, it's terrific. It's, it's, you know, you deserve this. After all your years of struggling, you've finally been able to crack your way into show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, fine, make jokes. I don't care. This is a big break for me. No, you're right, you're right, it is. Yeah. So you're gonna invite us all to the big opening? And... <laughs> <laughs> With Jill Gutiger. What? On a truck. In an ATM vestibule. With Jill Gutiger. I have no idea what you just said. Put Joey on the phone. <laughs> What's up, man? On a truck. In an ATM vestibule. With Jill Gutiger. <laughs> Oh my God, he's trapped in an ATM vestibule with Jill Goodacre. <laughs> Chandler, listen, listen. <laughs> yeah, like that thought never entered my mind. New York City has no power and the milk is getting sour. But to me it is not scary cause I stay away from dairy. <laughs> Split this with me? No, I will. Mm, you guys have to make a wish. Make a wish? Come on, you know, Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, you got the bigger half. What'd you wish for? The bigger half. <laughs> hey, that monkey's got a Ross on his ass. <laughs> Too many jokes. <laughs> Must mock Joey. Nice shoes, huh? Ah, you're killing me. You know, if you're gonna work late, I can look in on him for you. Oh, that'd be great. Okay. But if you do, make sure it seems like you're there to see him, okay? And you're not like doing it as a favor to me. Okay, but if he asks, I'm not going to lie. Just listen to me. I have sold a hundred million copies of my books, and you know why? The girl on the cover with her nipples showing? <laughs> no, because I know how to write men that women fall in love with. Believe me, I cannot sell a Paolo. People will not turn 325 pages for a Paolo. Come on, the guy's a secondary character. He's just, uh, you know, a complication you eventually kill off. <laughs> When? <laughs>
tell him? No, I'm not gonna tell him. Why would I tell him? How about, because if you don't, his mother might. Hmm. What are you guys doing here? Uh, he's not even wearing a jock strap. <laughs> What did I ask? <laughs> now, this is just the first chapter, and I want your absolute, honest opinion, okay? Oh, and, and on page two, he's not reaching for her heaving beasts. <laughs> What's a niffle? You can usually find them on the heaving beasts. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, so I'm not a great typist. Wait, did you get to the part about his huge, throbbing pens? <laughs> Tell you, you don't want to be around when he starts riding with those. <laughs> All right, then, No, 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 we're done. We're done. Oh, look, it's the woman we ordered. <laughs> Now, you see, most people, when the pets pass on, they want them sort of laid out like they're sleeping. But occasionally you get your person who wants them in a pose, like uh, chasing their tail or uh, jumping to catch a frisbee. Joey, if I go first, I want to be looking for my keys. <laughs> okay, good one. How do I look? Oh, um, I don't care. <laughs> Give me a white Simpsonzel and a glass of red for Jets. Janice? Janice? Oh. My. God. Hey, it's Janice. <laughs> oh, what a crappy night. Oh, ho. I have enjoyed the fact that uh, your shirt's been sticking out of your zipper ever since you came back from the bathroom. <laughs> Excuse me. How you doing? I want to take my tongue and... And say it. <laughs> say it. Run it all over your body until you're <laughs> trembling with. with... Funny story. You're not gonna believe it. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I was always rooting for you two kids to get together. Peeps, I'm sorry. I've gotta go. I've I've got Lamaze class. Oh, and I've got Earth Science, but I'll catch you in gym. <laughs> well, isn't isn't that gonna be weird? No, no. I mean it, it might have been at first, but by now I, I think I'm pretty comfortable with the whole situation. Ross, that's my jacket. I know. <laughs> Believe you. You still haven't told that girl she doesn't have a job yet? Well, you still haven't taken down the Christmas lights. <laughs> Congratulations. I think you found the world's thinnest argument. Hey, hey. Hey, Joe. You know, once you're inside, you don't have to knock anymore. <laughs> What the 
something you're doing is scared the crap out of me. Was that the cake? Yeah. Yeah. I got a lemon schmush. You look so tiny. We just got the message. Is he all right? Yeah, the doctor got the K out. He also found an M and an O. We think he was trying to spell out monkey. Well, the doctor says he's going to be fine. He's just sleeping now. So, you feel like a dad yet? No. Why? Hey, come on. You came through. You did what you had to do. That's very dad. Oh, look, he's waking up. Bella, how are you doing? <laughs> It's not just that, it's just I want someone who, who does something for me, you know, who gets my heart pounding, who, who makes me, uh... Little play things with yarn? <laughs> what? Could you want her more? <laughs> who? D, the sarcastic sister from What's Happened. <laughs> I just don't happen to know any women that know how to play poker. Oh, oh please, that is such a lame excuse. I mean, it's, it's a typical guy response. Excuse me, do any of you know how to play? No. no. <laughs> but you could teach us. No. no. <laughs> Marcel, okay, if you press that button, you are in very, very big trouble. <laughs> Ross, could we please, please, please listen to anything else? All right. Excuse me. Where are you going? Uh, to the bathroom. <laughs> do you want to go to the bathroom or do you want to play poker? I want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right. Your money's mine, Green. Your fly is open, Geller. <laughs> well, I have got your money, and you'll never see it. And your fly still open. Ha, I made you look. Uh, I fold like a cheap hooker who got hit in the stomach by a fat guy with sores on his face. <laughs> oh, I'm out. Airport 75. Airport 77. Airport 79. Yep, time's up. Bye, bye, birdie. That's a bird. That's a bird. Okay, okay, it's my turn. Go. Uh, bean, bean. The unbearable likeness of bean. Yes. Oh! She's looking for a relationship with someone exactly like me. She really said that? Well, I added the exactly like me part. For... <laughs> but she said she's looking for someone, and someone is going to be there tonight. Tonight? Tonight? Well, I think it's perfect. You know, it's just going to be the two of us. She spent all day taking care of my monkey. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I got a girl to take care of my monkey. <laughs> Fine, go over there and uh, try to woo her. Hey, you know what you should do? You should take her back to the 1890s when that phrase was last used. All right, all right, all right. You're a monkey. You're loose in the city. Where do you go? Okay, it's his first time out, so he's probably going to want to do some of the touristy things. I'll go to Cats. You go to the Russian tea room. Just do it. Call her. Stop being so testosterone-y. Which, by the way, is the real San Francisco treat. I got her machine. Her answering machine? No. Interestingly enough, her leaf blower picked up. She's on the other line. She's going to call me back. She's on the other line. She's going to call me back. She's on the other line. going to call me back. Don't you have to pee? Why I'm dancing. 
Heating device. Radiator. Five letters. Herdader. <laughs> wow, what a geek. They spent $69.95 on a wonder mop. That's me. <laughs> You've got to do something about the humping. What? It's, it's just a phase. Well, that's what we said about Joey. <laughs> How about Joey Peponi? Oh, still too ethnic. My agent thinks I should have a name that's more neutral. Joey Switzerland? <laughs> Plus, you know, I think it should be Joe. You know, Joey makes me sound like I'm um, oh, this big, which I'm not. <laughs> Joe, 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 Stalin? <laughs> Stalin. <laughs> Stalin. Do I know that name? That sounds familiar. Well, it does not ring a bell with me. Huh. Joe Stalin. <laughs> you know, that's pretty good. You might want to try Joseph. <laughs> Joseph Stalin. I think you'd remember that. Oh, yes. Bye Bye Birdie, starring Joseph Stalin. <laughs> Joseph Stalin is the fiddler on the roof. <laughs> this is really becoming like a weird obsession thing. This is madness. It's madness, I tell you, for the love of God, Monica, don't do it! <laughs> Thank you. I believe you two had sex in her dream. I'm, I'm sorry, it was a one-time thing. I was... Very drunk, and it was someone else's subconscious. I'll see you guys later. Off to see young Ethan. Thank you. How young is young Ethan? Young? He's our age. When we were... <laughs> okay, he's a senior in college. College? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and this man-child has no problem with how old you are? No, of course not. It's not even an issue. I told him I was 22. What? Oh, I can't pass for 22? Well, maybe 25, 26. I am 26. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they even do you. They do me? <laughs> you know, like, um, okay. Um, could that report be any later? Oh. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Oh, oh, chill. Yeah, you do. <laughs> The hills are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> My scone! My scone! <laughs> okay, I don't sound like that. That is so not true. <laughs> that is so not... That is so not... That... Oh, shut up! Things don't work out. And... This has nothing to do with the fact that he needs a note to get out of gym? I didn't say anything. I, I did not say anything. I swear he stopped by. Uh, listen, next time you talk to him, could you ask him which one the strongest Power Ranger is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my life is just so amusing. <laughs> Can we drop it now? Sorry. Yes. Sorry. It's morphin' time! Stegosaurus! Tyrannosaurus! <laughs> I'm gonna be in the waiting room, handing out cigars. <laughs> yes, Joey's made arrangements to have his baby in a movie from the 50s. <laughs> You'll get one. Oh, yeah? When? All right, I'll tell you what. When we're 40, if neither of us are married, what do you say you and I get together and have one? Why won't I be married when I'm 40? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I just meant hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, why won't I be married when I'm 40? <laughs> no, no, no. No, I, no, what is it? Seriously, is there something fundamentally unmarriable about me? Uh, uh... Well? Dear God, this, this parachute is a knapsack. <laughs> Sweetest thing? You must just want to kiss him all over. <laughs> That would be nice. Pardon? Nothing, just a little extra air in my mouth. <laughs> Men are here. We make fire. 
cooked meat. <laughs> then put out fire by peeing, no get invited back. Yeah. Hey. Hey. How long did you think this barbecue was gonna last? I'm going to China. Jeez, you say one thing, and uh... <laughs> This one's from Joey. Feels like a book. I think it's a book. Feels like a book. And it's a book! Oh, it's Dr. Seuss! That book got me through some tough times. There is a little child inside this man. Yes, the doctors say if they remove it, he'll die. <laughs> That's uh, Rust. Oh. <clears throat> oh, my God. He remembered. Remembered what? It was like months ago. We were walking by this antique store, and I saw this pin in the window, and I told him that it was just like one my grandmother had when I was a little girl. Oh, I can't believe he remembered. Well, sure, but can you play it on a plane? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so pretty. This must have cost him a fortune. I can't believe he did this. Oh, come on, Ross. Remember back in college when he fell in love with Carol and bought her that ridiculously expensive crystal duck? What did you just say? <laughs> crystal duck. No. No, no, the, um, the love part? Flannan. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. That's good, just keep rubbing your head. That'll turn back time.